Okay, I just bought these crossbars for my 2024 Kia Telluride. It has raised side rails. Some of them have flush side rails. Um, these crossbars are from Yakima. It's the Timberline FX model. And their website for Yakima said the Kia Telluride, at least the 2024, you need a medium and you need a small. Um, apparently it's not exactly parallel up there. I guess we'll find out. And uh, let's see if I can install these. Okay, so first you just pull the end cap off and it's got a little locking mechanism up here. You just gotta make sure you take a flathead screwdriver, twist it, quarter turn, and you just pull that out, set it aside. It comes with a torque wrench. First thing you wanna do is horizontally insert there. And the idea here is we wanna, this is loosening the grips so that the rails will be able to be adjusted in and out and slide them. So I get it loose enough to be able to uh, slide the rails like that. And the other thing you do with the torque wrench is eventually you know you need it to grip to the rail. So you loosen this down as far as it'll go. So that we can grip it to the rails when we're ready. You do that on all four sides and you're good to go. Okay, so on the 2024 Kia Telluride, it needs a medium on the front and a small on the back. I opened my sunroof here to show that, don't forget you have a, if you have a sunroof, leave room for it. And also, don't forget, if you wanna put a luggage rack on, which a lot of them come with these clamps, you wanna make sure that you have enough room for the clamp to go down, lock into place. that so there's enough room for the sunroof to open I may want to move it back even a little bit more remember when you're orienting it front to back you want the fatter side on the front of the vehicle and the tapered or sharper edge on the back treat it like an airplane wing more of an airfoil so that um, you don't get as much drag okay the minimum allowable distance between the crossbars they say is 24 inches Mine's 28 between the two, and uh, but they recommend between 20, 27 and 32. I went with 28 because it fits between my sunroof and between my rear rail perfectly. Um, so just make sure you're measuring from you know different points in the vehicle because you want these to be perfectly perpendicular to the rails and perfectly parallel with each other. Okay, once you have it lined up where you want it on both sides, just make sure you extend one side. So right now I've pushed it out and I wanna secure this in or tighten it down so it can't extend on this side and then I'll do the same to the other side. Make sure it's nice and tight. So it's tight enough when you hear it start to click. Next step is to tighten it here. So it starts to raise that up. Make it nice and snug till it clicks. On the home stretch, you gotta put the little locking mechanism back in, slide it in and then push it down. Get your flathead screwdriver, do that quarter turn to the right, lock it, it's locked in, and then you just slide the cover back on. 